guys, welcome back. Marco here from BlitzGuitar.com. I'm actually in Italy right now, spending time with my family. That's my basement, and uh, I'm gonna be recording lessons here for a while. Now, um, what I want to talk to you about today is uh, chords and how we can create beautiful sounding chords with the least amount of effort. Now, the reason why I want to show you that, guys, is just because I received so many messages from you asking me about difficult chords, you know, and how um, and when you can start learning difficult chords. Now, the thing is, you don't have to, and um, you know, you can create beautiful chords that are actually pretty simple, and with this lesson, I'm gonna show you that. Now, um, obviously, major seven chord, minor seven chord, add nine chords, suspended chords, add 11, uh, 13th chord, they're beautiful, but you don't necessarily have to learn these type of chords uh, to create something you know, beautiful and different than uh, everything you already play. So uh, I'm gonna show you um, how you can do that. And in this particular lesson, we're going to use something called pedal tone, uh, which is uh, a very simple approach. We're gonna basically keep the same chord uh, on the top three strings. We're only gonna change the bass note. And so it's pretty simple. You only learn one shape. We only change the bass note. And obviously, because we learn melodies, we're gonna add a very simple melody um, between these chords. You can get the tab, check my Patreon page, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with all the upcoming lessons. I think we can get started. We're going to go in my room. We're going to get started, so see you there. All right, guys, let's get started. Now, first thing, uh, the pedal tone concept, just so cool. We're going to have basically the same chord here. Okay, we're going to use this chord throughout. And the only thing I'm going to change is the bass note. So I'm going to have D major. Um, D over F sharp, G major, A major, and also at some point I'm gonna play a B minor chord, okay? But I'm not gonna play any of this chord because we're gonna use this concept. Now the first chord, for example, is gonna be D major, the D over F sharp, G major, A major, and also B minor, okay? So as you can see, these chords sound, they sound beautiful, and I'm not really doing you know anything difficult, right? Now um, let's get started. Our first chord, a D major chord. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to learn the top two strings here, which are gonna be always the same throughout. Second string fret number three, which is the note D, and the first string fret number five, which is the note A. Okay, you can visualize that as a power chord shape. Okay, usually when you play rock, you play this kind of power chord. And that's exactly the same shape. I'm using one and four, okay? Now the first chord I'm playing is a D major chord, right? And so um, the root note is gonna be D, okay? Which I'm gonna play with the thumb on the fourth open string, that's D. And the index is always on the second string, which is the um, fret number three. And the middle finger is always on the first string, which is the fret number five, okay? Now that's the first chord, D major, okay? And I'm playing root note, uh, another root note here on the second and a perfect fifth so there's no major third here very simple chord okay the second chord is d uh, over f sharp so i'm changing the bass note okay this is still a d major chord guys but i'm changing the bass note and i'm playing an f sharp which is the fourth string fret number four okay so right now if i consider that to be a d over f sharp i have the four, the f sharp on the fourth string which is the major third on the bass note I have also the root note on the second string fret 3, which is D, and the first string fret 5 is still A, which is the perfect fifth. So I have the major third, root note, perfect fifth. Okay, so D, D over F sharp. Now the third chord is G major, and that's a very simple chord to play, okay? Because I am playing the uh, third open string, that's my root note, okay, G. The second string fret 3, which is the fifth. Um, and I'm also playing the uh, second, the first string fret 5, which is A. Now when we play G major, this chord will be a, a G add 9 chord, okay? Because of the A. The A is the major 9th, okay? And so you want to play the first three chords, D major, D over F sharp, and G major. Okay? Very simple. Now, before I'll show you the other chords, let's just uh, play this chord with the fingerstyle pattern. Okay, beautiful sounding pattern. What am I playing? 
I have the thumb on the fourth, index on the second, middle on the first, index on the second. So it's a four note pattern. One, two, three, four. And then I move on to the next chord. One, two, three, four. And then to the next chord. One, two, three, four. And then I play a very simple melody, okay? Now if I play up to speed, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, very very simple. Now, how does it work and how do I play the melody? The last chord we are playing is the G. And then after that, I'm gonna play the first string fret number three, two, first open. And the second string fret number three. Okay, so. And I start the melody with, uh, with the middle finger, so I'll be plucking with the middle finger the first note, index the second, the middle finger the third, and the fourth note is with the index. So I'm basically performing a, an alternate fingering here. All right, so that's the first part where you have D, D over F sharp, and G phrase. Okay. Now the second time when we start again, we're gonna also play the A major. Okay, so I'm gonna have a kind of a different phrase. So the second time we're gonna play the uh, D major, D over F sharp, uh, G major, and then A major. Now the awesome thing about the A major is the fact that we have to change only the bass note. So I have the fifth open, the second string fret number three, the first string fret number five, and the second string fret number three again. Okay. Now this chord is uh, will have the root note A. Uh, then you also have the second string fret number three, which is the uh, suspended, so it's the eleventh. Okay, which you will make this chord. A suspended four, okay, and then you also have the first string fret five, which is another A, another root note. Okay, now when you play the A major, you're also gonna have a different phrase, which is going to sound like this. Okay, so what I'll play is fifth string, second string first string and then I'll play the phrase first string fret number three and fret number two with the pull off okay so I'm basically um, playing the fret number three and I already have the second fret here in place so once I play the fret three then I will pull the string down with the middle finger without have to pluck again okay so Right? So it could be a little bit more difficult if you are a beginner. If you really struggle with the pull off, just pluck the notes rather than performing the pull off. Okay. So far we have uh, two rounds. The first one. Second one. Now we're gonna start again and we're gonna change the melody again. Okay, so we're gonna have different melody. And how does it work? Well, we're gonna play the D major, we already know that. The a D over F sharp. We're gonna play the G major. And then we're gonna play this beautiful phrase. First string fret number eight, seven. Sorry, I'm saying rubbish. It's fret number 10, nine, seven. Okay? And I finish with the fret number five. And I'm playing the fret five with the little finger, okay? So, 
uh, play the D G. And the reason why I'm playing with the fret, with the little finger is because then I'm going to start again D. So I already have this finger in place. So G major. D and G and I have the fourth round I'm gonna have exactly the same phrase as the round number two okay so when you put the whole thing together you're gonna have first round So far pretty straightforward and now let's just try the B section which we're gonna have a B minor a uh, G major I'm sorry a B minor a major and G B A and a G major this is the only time where we actually change the chords okay so the B section would go would go like this you have exactly the same chord as the pedal tone here very simple um, so the root note now is B now there are two different options here you can either play the B on the fifth string fret 2 uh, but that will make this chord very uh, stretchy okay so if you can make it like that, that's fine. But in this video, I'm going to show you a very simple way so that you don't have to even change the fingering um, for the pedal. Okay, so the B, we're going to take it on the third string for number four. Okay, so right now I have the fourth, the, sorry, the third string for number four, the second string for number three, and the first string for number five. And that's a B minor chord. Now, uh, you have B, which is the root note, D, which is the minor third and you also have A um, which is the minor seven so we're playing a B minor seven chord okay with the root note on the third string and so you will play exactly the same arpeggio which is thumb on the third index middle index okay and the second chord is A major Pretty cool because it's only the fifth open string with the same pedal, and then you have the uh, G major chord twice. Okay, very simple. So B minor, A, and G twice. B minor again, A, and we finish with this beautiful G major chord. I really like this chord. Very simple, third open, the second string fret 3 and the first string fret 3. I'm using a little bar chord here. And you can either pluck these three, three strings simultaneously or you can just strum with the thumb. And the reason why I like it is just because it just sounds so cute, you know, just a beautiful sounding, beautiful sounding chord, okay? And you don't necessarily have to play with the bar, you can just use 1 and 2 if you don't like bar chord, okay? Uh, and that's it. So you have B minor, A, and G, two, three, and four, and then you start again. Okay. So the pedal it really helps you to uh, create a beautiful uh, sounding chords without really uh, playing anything that is you know too difficult or too complicated. So I hope hopefully you're gonna like this lesson, guys, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you next time.